So recently I migrated from the UK. This was supposed to be via British Airways, but this is 2020. So plot twist, I was not expecting a Danish mink transmission. Nobody expects the Danish mink transmission. <laughs> Luckily I had a plan B, Ryanair. For those unfamiliar with the Irish airline, Ryanair are Europe's largest low-budget carrier. Think Spirit Airways if you're American. The fares are very, very cheap. In fact, flying from London, the train to the airport usually costs more than the base fare for the flight itself. Of course, you're then charged piecemeal for every basic amenity on top of that basic fare, from picking your seat to basic carry-on luggage to a drink of water. There was even speculation and rumour for some years that they would begin charging for the use of in-flight toilets and possibly fitting more passengers per flight by changing from chairs to standing saddles. Needless to say, it's not travelling in style, but they'll get you from A to B. This video, however, is about one of my personal gripes with Ryanair, the thing I need to stare at through every single flight. On Ryanair, there is no in-flight entertainment system and usually not even a seat back pocket. This cuts costs not only for the initial fit out of the plane, but also on cleaning and turnaround time between flights. So without a seat back pocket, where is the mandatory airline safety card? Smack bang in front of you. Right where you would usually find a screen sits a large safety sticker where it can more easily be completely ignored, at least by most people. But I'm not most people. I have spent way too much time thinking about this awful design, and today I'm going to explain exactly why it sucks. In the fantastic Understanding Comics, Scott McCloud defines comics as juxtaposed pictorial and other images in deliberate sequence, intended to convey information and or produce an aesthetic response in the viewer. Or to simplify, storytelling through sequential images. We can think of airline safety cards as comic strips, and as a comic, its biggest flaw, aside from being atrociously drawn, is inconsistent character design. There's a reason why visual media like comics, animation, and video games use model sheets. Consistency helps the reader understand what action is taking place. If the character looks different from panel to panel, what is happening becomes unclear. If your character has pupils in one panel and only a line in the next, you have to assume they are squinting or have their eyes shut. Overall, we have four protagonists. Green shirt guy, blue shirt guy, a child and magenta dress lady who, based on how she runs, looks like she's suffering a bathroom emergency more than an aviation one. Our androgynous child, dressed in tiny surgery scrubs, is the most consistent. In fact, it's literally unchanged from panel to panel, copied and pasted four times. Lazy, but still preferable to this Twizzler-eating Planet of the Apes cameo who appears to be the legal guardian. But worst is our main character, Green Guy, who suffers from wildly fluctuating swelling of the hands, unfathomably shaped trousers, and both elongated and dislocated arms. Turn down for what? If you're going to make instructional graphics, you're going to end up with a few arrows. Arrows need to be both consistent and intelligible. Right off the bat, consistency gets a big red fail. This card contains 50 arrows, which vary wildly in scale, thickness, implied dimensions, and even color. As for being intelligible, despite the Microsoft Paint level rendering of human hands, this illustration clearly conveys the direction you should pull to open the sleeve, left to right. So why then does this arrow look like this? Here the arrow seems to instruct you to take the yellow mouthpiece and put it on the back of your head. And for the life of me, I cannot decipher the meaning of these arrows. Am I meant to pry open the left trouser leg of this infant? What if they're wearing shorts? But that pales in comparison to this rat's nest. I can only presume that at one point all these red arrows had yellow strokes to help them read clearer over the half-tone grey. I think it's likely that over multiple revisions over years, some poor art worker opened this file and something deep inside them died. And they just thought, it's Ryanair. Who really gives a shit? 
Of course, the poor design doesn't end with the people and arrows. Typography is also inconsistent, shifting haphazardly between Helvetica and Myriad because, you know, why even bother changing the default font in Illustrator? This sequence of panels has numbers, none of the others do. The icon designs can be laughably awful. These are meant to be dentures. This, who knows? Perhaps it's a relative of this creature? Actually, it's an ear with an earring and a woman with a necklace. How can I tell what it is? I can't. It's only comprehensible if you've seen the old safety card from way back when Ryanair had seat pockets. In fact, many of these illustrations are just worse versions of those slightly less bad ones. And while this bad design might be simply frustrating and confusing in other contexts, let's not forget that this is guidance on emergency procedures. The stakes are significantly higher. The wonderful podcast 99% Invisible recently aired an episode called In the Unlikely Event, exploring the origin and design of airline safety cards. It's packed with insightful information, but here are two sobering facts from that episode for context. First, aviation accident investigators determined that in an average crash, passengers have 90 seconds to exit the plane for optimal chances of survival. And if people sit before going out the exit slide instead of jumping down as advised, that added over 40 seconds to evacuation time. This is Podoba Airlines. Unless you live in Russia, you've likely never heard of them. They're the budget subsidiary of Aeroflot with a fleet of only 38 planes. That's under a tenth the size of Ryanair. They too are an extreme budget carrier and have gone the route of seat back safety stickers. Now, Podoba's design isn't going to win any beauty pageants, and at first blush, it looks like a cluttered mess, but that's mostly down to the sheer volume of bilingual text. Remove that, and the artwork remains flawed, but it's vastly more legible. Compare this with this. Both of these instructions are for the exact same model of plane. Remember that design is not art. Design must be useful first, then beautiful. At least Podoba's is ticking the first box. According to their own corporate site, Ryanair boasts over 470 Boeing 737-800s, each with a capacity of 189 passengers. That's over 100,000 seat backs plastered with this half-assed mediocrity. When taken in view of the printing, installation, maintenance and replacement costs involved, the cost of actual design would be a fraction of a percent of the overall cost of producing these for such a massive fleet. This design looks like it's about a day's work, and it's piss poor work at that. Ryanair have one of the worst safety cards in the industry. Even if you wrongheadedly believe that good design is a luxury, a nice to have, and should be down on the priority list, I would at least hope you'd agree that when it's in the service of passenger safety, it ranks somewhere ahead of paying people to write cringy tweets about the US election, because that seems like something Ryanair can find the money to pay for. Ultimately, this safety card is bad for many reasons. Firstly, it's bad for Ryanair's brand perception. This is what people stare at for their entire duration of their flight. No amount of sassy tweeting will offset that experience. It's poorly conceived, badly executed, and confusing to understand, all of which ultimately harm passenger safety. And lastly, it's a sign of poor judgment. If they're cutting corners on the art for the safety card, where else are they cutting corners where they really shouldn't be? Look, I'm thankful for Ryanair being there when my other plans fell through, but there's a reason they were plan B. Budget doesn't need to mean poorly designed. If you're interested to understand what good safety car design is like, I highly recommend checking out the episode of 99% Invisible, which I mentioned and is linked down in the description. Also, Delta Airlines have made their in-flight safety video entirely animated in the style of safety card infographics. It's actually fantastic work and well worth watching. If you enjoy this video, feel free to like or leave a comment below to help this channel to grow and reach more people. 
If you want to see more videos about design and typography, consider subscribing. My name's Linus, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in a future video.